this is Trivia and this is the February monthly vlog. I hope this month of love is going great for all of you. I made a little Valentine's Day printable for my patrons on Patreon. Played around with the animation function on Procreate. It's pretty neat. You can get the digital file of the base illustration from one of two ways. One, you can be my patron on Patreon, or two, you can get it from my art station. I'll leave the links for both in the description below. We're currently at the third week for February, but I already did so much. So for, for this vlog, I'm going to share with you um, a painting that I did for my friend's birthday party. Um, so we're gonna paint Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I know of the character and I know Jack Skellington, but I never really watched the film. I thought I would have at some point, but I never really got down to it. Anyways, I found this old square canvas and I primed over it to get it ready for the paint. Um, I did like two layers and left it to dry and then I decided to do the sketch of Zero over it with a blue pencil wasn't the most decisive um, on the pose, so the sketching phase took quite a while. And then I got into the whole mistake of being too detailed during the sketching phase. That isn't really the best thing to do during the sketch phase because uh, I'm gonna be painting over all that detail later. So when I finally decided that I think the sketch of the pose is good enough, I went in with black paint. Um, I started off with gouache because I have a lot of gouache lying around. Um, I thought that the translucency will make the painting a little bit more ethereal, but it kind of backfired. <laughs> You'll see later. Uh, so uh, this is me blocking in the blacks with black gouache. And then right after that, I went into blocking in the whites. And at this point, you can see that gouache is not as thick as acrylic, and it's I actually quite I actually watered it down quite a bit. So it's kind of smudging and taking up some of the blues, which I think I quite like at the start, until I realized that it's really difficult to paint over the blues because they'll just keep getting they just keep getting muddy into the whites and that is the pain of gouache so at this point I had to go over and over again with the white gouache uh, and then I add the shadow and I would muddy up the white as well so it was like a really really tedious process to cover up um, mistakes because the white paint wasn't very opaque because there wasn't a lot of time, uh, the birthday was in about two days and I didn't have time to really wait for paint to dry uh, and go over and over to cover up mistakes. Uh, I was kind of panicking and <laughs> struggling to kind of just, you can see I was struggling to cover up. Um, and then I went on to make a mistake of uh, focusing too much on the eyes. Yeah, and that was when I decided that I was going to switch over to acrylics. So with the black acrylics, um, you can see that it covered up the... It, it really covers up really well. And the face, uh, I kind of just went over the face with a little bit of gouache um, to cover up the eyes because I kind of overworked the eyes a little bit. So they're quite big, uh, but I wasn't able to cover it up properly. So I kind of let that sit for a while, while I stew in my regret and then uh, just distract myself with doing the outlines of this. And here you can see that I'm painting with acrylic now. Uh, it looks way better. I was able to fill up spaces. I was able to cover up mistakes. Uh, I was also able to put in shadows where I need them, translucency where I need them, and yeah, most importantly, cover up mistakes where I need them. At some point, my phone ran out of battery, so I don't have the footage in which I fix this, but I fixed it. I salvaged the piece. 
and now I'm just putting in the finishing touch on its pumpkin nose. Because I don't want the whole background to look flat, black. So I went in to dry brush um, some streaks of white for it. So it looks a little bit life, livelier, livelier, yeah. The final step for this was to add in the top coat. And for that, I used Liquitex Matte Gel. Uh, usually, the recommended drying time for your paint before you go over with a top coat is like two days. But I didn't have that time, so <laughs> kind of let it dry for 24 hours. And then I went over it with a coat of matte gel from Liquitex. And that came back to bite me in the butt later because some smudging happened. Uh, yeah, but overall it looks good, so I guess it's what Bob Ross says, it's like happy accidents. So I'm happy with it, that there are accidents. Yeah. So this piece is done. Here's dinner after, uh, at Brew Works, after the birthday party at this mini golf place where I learned that I suck at mini golf. Um, the food was heavenly and that's the birthday boy yeah so that's all i have for you guys this february vlog vlog thing i hope you enjoy this video and if you like such videos please like share and subscribe uh trying to grow my youtube channel here so it would help if you're a subscriber yeah um i think that's about it See you next month. <laughs> yeah, bye.